Today, I was removed from the House of Commons for telling the truth. Uh, the Liberal government got up in the House of Commons and insinuated that Conservatives have been obstructionists when it comes to Bill C-21, that we are part of the problem. And they were talking about a sneaky letter written by Liberals, um, the Bloc Québécois and the NDP that Conservatives were not invited to participate in. And this is carried out in light of the Liberal government bringing forward the most underhanded amendment in the most underhanded way that is the largest ban of Canadian hunting rifles in the history of our country. And so today in the House, to hear a Liberal accusing us of being the problem, insinuating that we are obstructionist, is the most hypocritical thing I have heard in the three years that I've been elected as a member of Parliament. The most popular piece of uh, feedback we get from our constituents is that the Liberal government does not answer questions, that they don't tell the truth. And so today we had enough of it and I called them out for lying, which they did lie. And I will say it again out here, that they lied today in the House of Commons. Okay. And the principle of what you're mm -hmm. saying about how the Liberal member categorized your comments, but I'm wondering, you know, the House of Commons has very clear rules that say you cannot call a person a liar, mm. even if they are lying. Uh, are you prepared to withdraw those comments? So I did withdraw. I immediately withdrew those comments when the speaker asked me to. And then he asked me to apologize. Not apologizing for speaking the truth. Yeah, that's right. Here, here, here. I know for a fact that farmers are asking that minister to axe the carbon tax. That PM promised that the Senate would be independent, but the actions this past week proved that that is a complete farce. We know he bullied his senators. The PM himself was on the phone over the weekend telling them they had to gut Bill C-234. The Prime Minister lied and his minions continue to lie about whoa, whoa. same time I did knows full well that you can't use that word. Yeah. I would say the Honourable Member should retract that and apologize. The Honourable Member Battle River Crowfoot. Mr. Speaker, I will not apologize to that Prime Minister when he continues to lie about the impact of the carbon tax and the independence of the Senate. I'm asking the Honourable Member to apologize for the second time and retract that word. The Honourable Member knows full well you cannot use that word in this chamber. So this is the last, uh, this is the last opportunity. The Honourable Member of Battle River Crowfoot, will you be retracting that? It's the truth. It's the truth. Mr. I will not apologize to the Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Curick, would you mind leaving us today?